Okay, as I said before, BDR is going to play the blue full roll, and uh, Knob is going to play the alp full roll. BDR won the first round to 80 points. Um, this is a good difference for this map. It's a medium difference. It's it's coverable, but still, it's a good difference. Um, I could uh, Im make uh, a contrast with football with this, and I could say it's like losing one to zero or something like that. It's a difference that it's solid, but it's coverable since we get only one objective. You score eight points per minute, so. And in order to score these points, you have to hold the objective for one minute straight. If there's an interruption by another player getting in the zone and uh, sharing it, then you, you're not going to score the points. You, the timer will reset, and you're going to lose these points, and you'll have another minute starting again. In order to start to reset the counter, you need to get into the zone and having a player there for five seconds. Five seconds will do the job trying to make the script work. Get now here make the rush. Pressing forward, he's trying to get behind the enemies. I think he's going to go straight for for a truck kill. The trunk is approaching him by Marshal Tattoo. Both teams make a stand to play. Stand to play here. Pretty, pretty standard. Nothing crazy, nothing different as I said before. Uh, Marco is observing the hill beside uh, behind the farm. This is not a very good position for the SPG to be placed as. I don't think it can reach the Abrams, the Abrams just can make short work of it. Now the Eastern Forces hold the base, and uh, BR is trying to advance here. They have stalled for a long time and, and got good positions as they have an advantage. Let's see what they can do here. The sniper is observing, I guess, the tower, most of it. There's no engagement yet. I don't know why. Slow development, they play very solid and defensive now. We're starting uh, the spam charge from the tank. Now, and later we'll have a good chance of spotting the UAZ here. Exchange of fire, Jimmy scores a kill there on Minosa. Mimosa, sorry. He's getting inside the, the base. And uh, hope for it is not have another player there. It was only one. In this uh, particular map, if you get inside the, inside the base, you should try and get the higher grounds. You see the two broken towers, they allow you to control the forest side. Uh, although there's a tree line there, you still have um, a way to move. Okay, here we go to kill the Marco was killed by Jimmy. Oh, yep. Yes. Now we get a uh, strange situation here. Both players are inside the I think that he spotted him. The uh, SPD is firing. Many shots on him and Jimmy's down by a belly. As I said before, venture with the tank managed to take out the SPG as protected. Uh, I think it's pretty standard. The tank crushes uh, on the dragon tooth.
one soldier is going behind the uh, tower, he's stopping there. You should not stall, you should just run and rush for it. And later he's trying to see where the enemies are. He has been told by his friends of near the medical tent, so I think he is uh, near the tower. He's trying to get a shot while right? he's pushing. Oh, and there's uh, a kill, but also a friendly fire. He also should have been more careful there. I think that Op4 is breathing his tent now. I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, up for now, there's only one player inside the tower and everyone else down. Now Belly has respawned. I think he's gonna get the tank. Yep, he's getting the tank. I don't know how the power is gonna push now as um, the, the Abrams has the higher ground. For some reason, they get uh, two players inside. They need to be more certain maybe for the aiming and moving. Fire and move. I don't know if fire control can be achieved. But it's good stuff. Anyways, Benju is inside the tank and inside the zone, very good play there. Now, if they... The only thing that Bluefoot needs to do now, if, my personal opinion, is that they just need to secure the ammo crates so that the enemies won't be able to get any RPGs to hold the base. This will give them many points. Weapons give them a big advantage as they won't push them by 80 points, so they don't really need to worry. Both the players are moving towards the castle. They're both sharing the points right now. Annihilator is making a run for it. He's trying to encircle the compound of the castle there. The shooting ball there. The shooting of the Tank goes off and two is inside it. This side has two points inside right now and that is four points. Um, the tank is firing at the bunker. Um, but one player is inside. I don't think it's going to end well for him. <coughs> tank fires one more round on the bunker. This is going to be destroyed and he's going to get down the top of the tank. Get that. Good time to get him. It's a good chance now to get an RPG and score a kill on the tank. This is very dangerous for the tank, but now the Tikal is joining him. He has spotted him. That's what he can do here. RPG goes on the tank, and the tank is very damaged right now. Shooting inside, but. There, I guess. Venture is trying to find, but I think the cannon has been destroyed. Oh, and there comes the T90 giving a solution to this. Play okay, there, and uh, also the T90 fires a missile. He kills. Um, and then later, like this, trying to get inside. Now the tank is making a push. They can try to get the respawn truck, and they also have mission you know, to the other side, I guess. Yes, they have it, and they're covering, they're making a very good work covering this. So right now the respawn truck is in trouble, I don't think it has been. Oh! Find another player that spawns and they kill him. Now they're gonna get the respawn truck. No, they did not get it. They're waiting for a spawner. 
soldiers. Oh, here it comes. A soldier tries to pick an RPG. He's shot from behind the other side of the phone, but he's not killed. No, sh I'm guessing. They should destroy the tank. Uh, the, the, uh, truck now. They should do it. Um, I don't know about the level of certainty of the tactic, but I will go for it now. Uh, it will be a good idea to destroy the front spawn and kill anyone that tries to spawn, but right now I think they should destroy the tank. The, the truck. Um, oh, this guy flied. <laughs> good play there. Uh, if they did not destroy the tank, BDR will find a solution where they manage to drop an uh, RPG and destroy tank, I'm pretty sure, but that's Now, they're firing at the uh, incomers. What are they firing at? Rockets go off. More shots going off. They kill. Two. No. This is four. Three for that. My FPS are very low. I don't know what they should do again. Every time he's trying to get inside the farm. They will get, I think it was Annihilator. Yep. He gets the RPG. And also, all players here have RPGs. Oh, this is a bad for the tank. Yep, the tank gets one hit. They should get the track now that they can. They got a final hit, but uh, they get another RPG. And now T9 is going to be to explode, I guess. Two players are getting out. <coughs> That's why I don't like Arrowhead. You see here that the tank got two RPG hits and it didn't destroy. It wasn't destroyed. Now Mimosa is trying to make a flanking move. Now he gets back inside of the tank. I'm trying to achieve. He gets the heavy machine gun and he's trying to spot enemies. I can, from what I can see, the tank is not destroyed. Oh, this this rocket was uh, missed the target. Oh, that did not miss. The tank is going to explode soon. And this gets me Mimosa. Uh, BR found a solution to their problems and now they can at, at last push again. <laughs> Belly scores a kill on Cibolo. Cibolo, I hope I pronounced this right. Uh, from what I see, uh, from uh, both teams, is from the first round that they have improved their um, map control awareness. This is very important. The most important part of the game is the most important uh, t uh, tactically. The grenade there, my later, but still not enough. Spam a grenade so belly, and there's a kill. There's a kill by a grenade by an later. Uh, what I was saying before is that most teams um, try to get an later is flying at the machine gunner behind the tower. Most teams try to. Uh, go for a hunt for the respawn truck and the or the objective most of the time is that and they forgot their map control. If you gain a map control it's totally certain that you're gonna score a lot of points from incoming enemies that uh, try to get inside from the respawn zone from the safe zone and also you after you wipe them out you can chase the respawn truck and uh, score points at the same time. Oh great play there with Marshall Tito he scored two kills. Now BDR in the, uh, are in a bad shape. Um, they have only one player inside. In play, they're bringing a new respawn truck. Uh, Vento is in a good position right now. I guess he is pretty covered from all directions, and uh, I don't think they're gonna notice him soon enough. Um, Nob now is holding the base, but uh, they have the advantage. They should push, they sh should pick, pick uh, one or two guys to go out and chase the respawn truck or block the safe zone. Uh, to be honest, there's not much, uh, there's, n there's not a lot of things that could hurt them right now since uh, they're holding the base. Uh, there's no tanks, so they can rest there, but s still, if they try to push a bit, it will be better. We must just call the kill there and then to. Hello. Corbin informed me about something. Sorry for that. Now. Oh my god, like. <laughs> um. BDR tried to find a solution, as I said. 
Avenger is picking grenades. <sighs> Cibolo is placing the sniper rifle towards the tower and the uh, frontal gate. And now we're getting later making a push from behind the tower. I think he's going for the respawn troop. This will give him 10 points and the ability to gain map control because now uh, uh, before we don't get reinforcements. Good play there. Let's see if he can find the respawn truck. There are not many uh, places to put it, but still, um, the respawn truck uh, is very vulnerable and uh, there's a force that you can hide it. Pretty obvious where it is, but still, it wastes time on your team while well, trying to attack and do it at the same time. Now we get Belly here in the frontal uh, position, he's going to try and group an RPG. Oh no, the, the enemy snipers come from the other time, he's aiming on him. Still he's aiming. What's he doing? Press the trigger. He lies down. He was tired, I guess. Press the trigger, man. And he shoots him to the back after he gets the RPG. Now Mimosa gets behind the... fires an RPG or something. So he didn't manage to catch that action there. <coughs> but, but the PR uh, broke the respawn truck there. I'm bringing up extra grenades. This is a good thing to do, although armor is not very helpful with it. Now Ventu has a very good position out right now. He can achieve a lot from this position. Right now. At least he can cover all the frontal right now. He's shooting an enemy and another one I think he spotted the other player there. He has totally blocked him. The enemy player cannot move right now. The enemy player is Mimosa. Uh, if he tries something, I think that uh, Venture will have the initiative to score a kill on him. And he's one. Belly is again making an encircle move. Now we get fire there. And uh, <coughs> Marshall Tito scores a kill on Sibo. Now, what am I doing? Kind of strange that both teams perform better <laughs> with uh, the Op4 side. This is the exact opposite from what happens in most matches of this map. Let's see what we can do here. Blue 4 is, uh, is doing a very good job now, and they managed to clear the, the site. And now they're pushing forward. Vendu has the backside covered right now, and the OP4 team is uh, entering. Oh no. He scores one more kill there. Oh, an enemy is in front of him. He hasn't spotted him. He's check his six. He's gonna get shot to the back. No, he managed to get the tower at the last moment there, if you see where the bullets landed. Marco is gonna chase him, I guess. He has a GB25 and this can help him score a kill now. We also have a motorbike coming from the backside. The motorbike is uh, for BDR. Fight by Marco. No, it was uh, another player. Sorry for that. Marshal Tito is going to get a good position. Trying to get a position there. Oh, I think he's going to defend the respawn troop as they heard the motorbike that's going to eliminate it. And uh, the one that is chasing it is an annihilator. He has the M203. You can fire one M203 round and you can destroy the respawn troop. If BDR manages to do that right now, they, I think they'll manage to get the castle back. Now Nope tries to find a solution of how to attack since Blue 4 is controlling the castle right now. They will get a kill there on an later that didn't manage to destroy the truck. Great play there by Marshall. Oh, good play there by Kill, but uh, Venture fires on him, but he didn't kill Mimosa, uh, he killed uh, Marco. Great exchange of fire there. Hope for manages to get the castle back from BDR. From what I see, uh, these teams are not very experienced and uh, they have evolved a lot from the first game. From what I understand, they, they, they practiced and understood better of how to. Uh, use your and utilize your vehicles to this kind of gaming and this is uh, very nice to see 
as I think that they're improving much. Now Blue 4 is trying to make an encircling move. I, I believe they, they they try to destroy the truck. The ball is trying to spot anybody that's coming from behind with a sniper rifle or maybe spot, uh, find the truck then just scores another kill. Ooh. Using the tower with the mag. Oh, uh, misunderstanding there. He, another player is getting aside. We got here. I wish we could uh, switch to the first place in view. Uh, I'm gonna try it, but the script doesn't really like the first place in view. You see here what's happening. Marco is on. No, no, no. We're not gonna do that. As you can see here, fire is coming from the top of the tower. That venture is, I guess, to the bunker that the um, player get in. You see that Arrowhead has a very good palette of colors uh, in contrast with the shit one that Armor 2 has. It's all gray and, you know, it's like a gay god. Okay. Op 4 is still holding the base and Blue 4 is. It's, it's, they're in a big pressure right now, I guess. Oh, an RPG goes up to the tower and uh, destroys a part of it, but the player that's inside the tower is not dead. They're shooting him like crazy and they finally managed to get him. Good play there by uh, the creation team, good coordination and of course good play by Venture that managed to stall them all this time. Now uh, Annihilator gets killed by uh, Nob Belly, uh, good snipe there. Jimmy is uh, moving from the back side of the castle along with uh, I think it's Cibolo. I try to pronounce his name but I, don't, I hope I don't make a sound. Come on, Jimmy. A 203 goes to near the tower, but he doesn't manage to score a kill. I think he should uh, just use his same thing, but uh, this one gets his enemy. Good play there, though. He reloads his M203 and he's going to push forward. <laughs> this is a very attack and defense style of play. One team gets the castle, then the other one attacks. They manage to get it for some uh, time, and then again the same. Um, it's pretty interesting, if you ask me. Now Vento is uh, trying to find a good position. I think this position is pretty good for him. He shouldn't walk much in the open field. <coughs> he decides to sit there and cover his team while they advance. Now we get fire here. Jimmy gets killed by Marshal Tito. Nob is doing a very good job in defending the castle. And later on makes a push. Uh, the back side of the hill. Now the whole knob team is inside the castle and they have uh, got positions everywhere. Camp. I think that, oh, good snipe there by Belly2 Ventu. I think that BDRs um, <coughs> go for the respawn truck and maybe block the entrances, at least from Gorka village. Uh, this will give them time to cover the points, and now in later gets killed by Marshal Tito, that is the machine gunner of his team. Um, where is he? I think he's inside the bunker, not quite sure. No, he's in the back side of the bite. BDR is putting a fight there. They're trying to do something. I think, I personally think that they should place their sniper and their machine gun in a crossed way so they can cover both sides of the castle and have both them. Oh, there's a good shot there by Belly and Civil sniper to sniper. They should uh, cover the, the their teammates so they can attack <coughs> or make a flanking move to go for the truck. Uh, they should um, try to at least cause casualties to their enemies or push them to come out. There is some sniper fire to venture by Belly. He's dribbling, trying to avoid the fire. Now we get uh, a vehicle. Oh, he's shot to the leg. Is he gonna make it? 
He was running to the tent, but the second shot misses him. The fence will hide him and give him safety. Oh, he's shot. Good play there by the sniper. Now we get Annihilator, I guess. Uh, oh, another player is out. Now Jimmy has a chance to score kill him. No, don't fire him, you old three. Just fire with your M16. If the player lies down, I don't see, I don't think they have visibility of each other right now. He reloads his M203. He fires one more round. No effect yet. Oh god, this my FPS on like 10 or 5 or something. Oh, he's, he's being fired from uh, the door. He's aiming. Oh, he didn't manage to get him. Will make his round sure that later is firing him too old three to the cancel I think that's what I mean. Let's see Oh it was a grenade there. Great play. One more grenade exchange, I think. Now and later gets injured. This grenade hits his enemy. Now he fires on him with the M16 and gets him. He's making a push, he sees another enemy, he's under fire. He hides behind the tree, he's leaning now. Great play there, and he manages to score. What happened there? I didn't get it really. Just Marco was killed, and Annihilator can make a push for it now. BDR are gonna claim the castle again. They are uh, three, they are two, 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 but another one is coming, and so we're gonna have a three on three situation right now. As you can see, the knob has placed their respawn truck in a very good position. I like to destroy the UAZ in order to get a bit, uh, some more points. You can do that with one M203 on it. You cannot really do that on the Humvees though. Uh, he's trying to get a sniper rifle. I guess the SVD is a very good one. Or the grenade, I don't know. Um, now, uh, BDR should have rushed a bit more because they lost an advantage. Now, and a later trying to get inside the park where he spots an enemy. So he shoots one and he managed to get a kill on him, but he's killed two. Good play that though. And Ventu is inside the the frontal bunker. He's uh, securing the area. He scores a kill on Mako. And oh, sniper fire! We get sniper fire. Ventu is killed by by Bella. Marshal Tito is. Uh, Obel is firing on the sniper. Sniper is able, I think, and he managed to get him. Yes. Now it's two to one. Good play by the sniper there. They have. He has managed to save him a lot of times. Uh, from what I see there. Now there's a big push. There's a four player. <clears throat> it's pretty obvious where the knob respawn truck is. They a VDR should do something about it. It's pretty obvious where the respawn truck is, they should go after it. Keep having reinforcements, Jimmy is down the most. So it's a really bad capture of the scenes, but trust me, I, I get like 5 or 10 frames right now. It's this guy's hard for me. And now I'll get a friendly fire there, uh, even though he got his enemy. Now 3 BDR players are rushing inside the, the castle, and... Uh, here Mark Marshal Tito. Oh no, it's Marco. Marco, yes. Hides in the bunker. We get sniper fire this ball is killed by the other sniper. And uh, here we got Annihilator getting an RPG trying to find a way that he could en engage and push to the to the castle. Now Jimmy is trying to make a push too, but I think the respawn truck should be placed a bit further, a bit uh, forth, since uh, Nob are not are not uh, doing anything. They just uh, wait inside. They could push the the truck. BDR could push the truck a bit forward or go for the enemy's truck. A bit of big siege going on here. BDR slowly they're progressing to their objective now. Reducing the numbers and covering it. Here we get a kill by Ventu and Ophelia. Oh, Ventu is killed by Marco.
Now we'll get Jimmy going on the back side of a. Uh, going to the. F for a frontal assault. But there are three enemies inside, but I don't think that many uh, fires uh, with the M16, but he didn't manage to get the enemy who was in cover. <coughs> As I said before, BDR have must do two things. First of all, move the respawn truck. They're very far away, they have to walk a very long distance, they are very tired. Uh, in front of the enemies who are arrested and behind cover is the gun. And now it's the end of the second round. Let's see the final score here. It's 228 for Knob and 51 for BDR. Um, I think that uh, the first round was a difference of 80 points for BDR and uh, that uh, Knob won the final game. Here's the kill screens. We should it so it to you. I can't really can't really type anything since it lags so much. I think that the total score goes for no this is a strange game as both teams won as uh, up for and lost as blue for which is the totally opposite from what happened to the most matches. So it was an interesting match with uh, a big siege going on. Um, get ready for for the third round of the cup. Um, uh, the next map will be B, uh, B2T, uh, a pretty standard setup there. And it's the entire play and strategy in general. I hope you had fun today with at least this uh, on this half only. And uh, Sidon signing off.